So mercifully for all of us today, this video right here marks the end of the 12 days of Oterra Central Christmas. Yeehaw. Hopefully those of you that actually bothered to watch the series enjoyed the series. It'd be nice if more of you have. It's holiday time. I understand. I will say in general, I enjoyed the series quite a bit. And it felt good, if anything else, to kind of cleanse my palate at the end of 2017, which was to me really a negative year for professional wrestling, to be able to just relax, have some fun, have some good spirits, and talk about some cool things or some fun things about wrestling, because I haven't been able to do that a lot this year, and that's just the way it is. Which brings us to the end of this series and the first day of OTRS Central Christmas, which is all about my one wish for wrestling in 2018. Now, there's a lot of things I could ask for, a lot of things that I could want, but at this point in time, it's just one. If I could just get one wish, then I'll be happy. One wish, that's it. One wish to be fulfilled. And that one wish is that wrestling is better in 2018. I don't know what's going to take for that to happen. I do not have a crystal ball. I do not have the answers for what's going to make it better. I have some ideas, but ultimately those really don't matter. I don't care what happens. I don't care how it happens. I don't care why it happens. I just want wrestling to be better in 2018. Not even necessarily significantly better, just a little bit better to where it holds at least a little bit of my attention and a little bit of my interest, which for the majority of 2017, it honestly really did not. Now, part of that is my own fault for pretty much solely sticking for the most part with WWE, sprinkling in some Impact Wrestling for a couple of months. Oh, God almighty, how much I regret that time that I can't get back. But... When the WWE product is bad, and it has been for most of the year, then obviously it's going to be a tough go for me. But in 2018, let's hope that wrestling is better. And here's what I'm going to do to try and make wrestling better for myself. I'm going to try as much wrestling as I can this year. Raw, SmackDown, NXT, Impact Wrestling again. I'll give him another shot. ROH, I'll give him a shot. Um, New Japan, I'll give them a shot. There's got to be something out there. Lucha Underground, if they still exist, I'll give them a shot. What the hell? Why not? I got to find something that appeals to me. I got to find something that interests me enough to get me invested enough and moved enough to actually care about it. Because things could still be plenty bad, but if there's enough good there, it gives me enough material to say, hey, I need to watch this, I need to care about this, I need to come on here and put some effort into these videos instead of just kind of half-assedly, half-assedly doing them. I just want wrestling to be better. I don't think it's that hard. And, and, and the thing is, is I don't know if it's going to change at all. Like it really truly feels like, and I really mean this, it really feels like if nothing changes, 2018 might be my last year of trying to watch professional wrestling for some time. I really mean that. Because if you say, well, you're just saying that, you've got this channel and everything. I've taken breaks from the channel before. Just saying. I've tried different companies and different products and ultimately stopped because it just doesn't hold my interest enough. Honestly, when's the last time you saw me do a Raw or a SmackDown review, or specifically a Raw review which indicates how little I actually watch a full Raw, which is to my benefit mostly, because that's three hours of my life, for the most part, that I get back every Monday night, and I'm thankful for that. But I'm, I feel like I've really, truly reached a crossroads here, where I come on here and do these videos, and audience doesn't grow, um, doesn't really matter what type of approach I take or what type of videos I do, it just really doesn't matter, it's stagnant, everything about it is stale, is stagnant, the audience is the same, the comments are the same, the criticisms are the same, the topics seem to be in the most part for the same. Um, maybe it's just an, a matter of 
wrestling has passed me by. It's went down this ridiculous dumb dick direction that I don't particularly like. And the people that still go on the internet and talk about wrestling really do. So there's not that natural gravitation towards me because, in general, if you don't agree with the person enough, you're not going to really want to watch them. I don't know. And then just in terms of the time and energy in, to invest in watching wrestling, I mean, just even a Raw itself, three hours. Or a SmackDown, two hours. Both of them, that's five hours. And NXT, that's another hour, that's six hours. And I even mentioning the other shows and the other brands and then having to sit there and spend three to four hours watching pay-per-views once or twice a month. And that crap gets old, especially when you consistently feel like it's not fulfilling, when you consistently feel like you're not getting your money's worth. And it's not just about raw money, it's about money's worth in terms of time, in terms of energy, in terms of emotion. And for the most part in 2017, I really felt like I got almost none of that. And maybe it's something where I need to find people to watch wrestling with again, to help hashtag make wrestling fun again. That's probably a big part of it. Because let's be honest, for several years now, specifically WWE, the shit has been mostly hot garbage. And that's the real truth. It's stupid, it's sloppy, it's lazy, it's so many things. But at least when you have other people to watch it with, it can help make it not so bad. Or when it is bad, you can make fun of it, and you can have fun at its expense, and it ends up making it a pleasurable viewing experience. And again, I have none of that. So, I don't know what it is. If it's switching up and watching different brands, if it's taking an entirely different approach to doing this channel, if it's finding people to watch wrestling with, bringing other people on here to do this, I don't really know. But something's got to change. And my one wish is that wrestling is better in 2018. That's my one wrestling wish, is that it's better. Because it's got to be better, doesn't it? And I'm, I'm willing to, to go outside of the comfort zone. I'm willing to try different stuff, give other stuff a chance, to find something that I can latch onto, something that I can hold onto and says, this is crap, this is crap, this is stupid, this is idiotic, but at least I've got this, while not perfect, is enough to make me still feel proud to be a wrestling fan. Because right now, while I'd never be ashamed of being a wrestling fan and never will be, I wouldn't exactly classify myself as being very proud of it. Because I really don't feel any reason to have pride in it or be proud of it. And I challenge the people in the wrestling business to freaking be better. Stop, it, stop accepting mediocrity. Stop being lame. Start taking chances, start doing different things, but different sensible things that are actually done to try and make money. Not sitting there and have people grab your dicks and sit there and do a bunch of flippy, kicky, missy spots and think that's cool, because that's the one thing that trends in wrestling! Stupid drop kick sequences where nobody makes contact that look phony, fake, and all types of bullshit, and dudes grabbing their cocks are the things that get the most attention in professional wrestling. Let's be better in 2018. Let's get some God-blessed characters that are cool. Let's get some stories that kick ass. Let's get some real matches that tell some real stories that kick ass too. And maybe along the way we can find one promotion that actually does kick ass. Because newsflash for you, none of them right now do. And if you think Japan does, fuck you! It's my one wish. I just want wrestling to be better in 2018. It can't be that damn hard.